abusive usage of confusive verse, plays little tricks upon these wit-strung candlestick minds, leads cheese and blokes alike, long, long wax and spines. Word strings seem bright like the wicks to the light, yet stripped or dripped into nothingness. White, peelable puddles of malleability, softly kneaded thoughts spoken too fast by half broke aspen, basket, basket, joker, choker, or sass to show away those overt users, over overused, two hues, already well worn, revelous views. New way before language came, of age and languished, made song permanently impertinent, as tongue clung oral traditions, sung to our sons were undone. People's cultures kept iconoclastically blasted, to crippled, crippled, they just couldn't outlast it. Our cumulative blames was sucked back like an assimilative set of we can't quite get down. A dry lump of greed stuck so deep we keep hacking, gasping gags, create myriac acid right back up, stringently bitter as bile, we struggle in vain to gulp wholeness again as the rage of Aquarius steadily pours more cold force through our stung farce of voice till our horse creatures of silent consequence. Oblivious minnows, raised in a readily available upstream American slave dream. Coerced to enforce dull cult logic science religiously, warship powers that be, eager to raise nominally hominal shoals, fillet back the individual small scale role, scalp hairline citizens from civilization's thick stone skin hole, flame raw head to toe, meaty scapegoat feet dragged over blaze hot coals, roasted buddy rare and rare to call the pink pools a saved soul. But burnt flesh stench ain't ever alert, makes any steeled knee go feeble, ebb forward and red trails toward their newly renovated dirt steeple. People piled up limp legged as a release, fall flat atop their tragic mess like Rome's orgasmic phallus. Another ancient period eked out at its peak, before them the Greeks, before Chaic Myriad, and brittle papyrus pages, peripatetic fallacies born of those who know, weak Socratic ethics dawned from Don Herodotus's historic fatherhood four some hundred years ago. Before that, Homer's perennial odyssey afforded such horror adoration, predation even still mentions Egyptian nation priests of Pernifa relations, seen sweeping their feet elsewhere, keeping natron resin brethren bathed in palm wine vines, fine obsidian incisions re sewn ritually, hollow cavities, every extremity preserved except the gripeless practice of cracking skull bones open, grinding rape brands of creativity gripped with iron hook tips to rip great matter from the nose. Look further in time and find glimpses of Sumerian hieroglyphs, eternal histories elaborately etched on emerald tablets prior to the Sphinx's tour of duty, surely unsure erosion data mistaken immaturely as trust, and dentures those of us with lavish lust for ink to thrust pen upon our opium of pages, seek mass approval like shaken addicts need a needle in station able bodies, stuck shaken in alleys under steel born stories, stacked higher than lowly boring stories, contribute nothing but sort of sorted recitals, slightly less polite than some sore Canadian. Sorry.